Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. In today's Brother Scan and Cut Tips and Tricks video, I would like to show you how to cut out this sentimental rose by Stampin' Up. It is part of the April 2019 Paper Pumpkin Kit. And the reason this is a tip tricks video is because right off the bat, this is not gonna cut out correctly because there's a big gap right there in this rose petal and in a couple other spots as well that you're gonna see when I stamp it onto the Whisper White. I'm gonna show you how to scan it and then how to troubleshoot it, fix the problem, scan it again, and get a perfect cutout stamped image. Let's get started. My stamp did not come like in this color. It got a little stained because I used what's called Lovely Lipstick. If you stick around to the end of this video, you'll see a project I created using the cutout stamped image. Okay, so let's just Put some lovely lipstick onto the Whisper White. Okay, I'm gonna tap onto my stamping block. This is distinctive stamping, meaning I'm not gonna go tap, tap, tap and get a huge amount of ink on my stamp this time because I want the shading to show up. I'm just gonna tap down and hold for a couple seconds. Okay, see what I mean? It, it has this like automatic shading and coloring and you can see it shining there. And so that's what I like. And if you stamp it again, I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp it onto my, onto my grid paper, okay? You stamp it again, it's still pretty cool. Okay, but I'm going for this look. I'm going for the lovely lipstick kind of stark. I like that. Okay, let's do it one more time because when I do tutorials, I like to have a backup plan and I'm also gonna be doing it in one more color. Okay, I stamped onto the ink pad. I'm stamping down just a couple seconds. Normally I would hold it longer, but I don't want a lot of ink being absorbed into there. Okay, so let's close the lovely lipstick because it could get on my clothes or something. And let's clean the stamp because while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and stamp in memento black as well because that's part of my examples. Okay, I'm gonna just use my little scrubber here. Put some stamp and mist on there. Okay, so I'm just cleaning my stamp. And now, and now when you use stark colors like lovely lipstick, which is one of our in colors, it does leave a stain on the acrylic stamps that come with the paper pumpkin kit. Now I'm drying my stamp, but that's okay. Okay, it's all clean. It's okay that it leaves a stain. It doesn't affect the stamp at all, you'll see. Now I'm gonna use Memento Black, and um, this time I use it this way. I just, this stamp pad is not very big, so I'm gonna use it upside down. It'll help me see that I'm getting full coverage, and in this case, this isn't very juicy ink, so I'm just gonna kind of tap it around just to make sure I got some even coverage. Now go ahead and see what I'm talking about. Look at that. Okay, it looks pretty good. I wanna stamp me Memento Black. The reason I'm stamping a couple this way is because look at that. Look at that cool shading. And also, I can use the blends. Okay, the, the alcohol markers, they won't run when you use Memento Black ink. So I like that, and now we're gonna Okay, we're gonna stamp it on there. So, we're going to shut that one. We're gonna clean that one real quick. And before we fix our problem, we're just gonna scan it the way it is. Clean my stamp. Okay, dry my stamp. Now I won't get anything on. Let's make sure it's clean. Okay, good. Now I don't have to worry about it. Okay, leave that alone. I'll show you the rest of the stamp set and and some other products that came with this month's paper pumpkin kit in just a minute. I love getting paper pumpkin kits in the mail. They're, it's like so exciting. Each month it's like a crafty surprise. You never know what you're gonna get. Even, even though I'm a demonstrator, I was a subscriber before I was a demonstrator, they don't tell anybody what, what they're doing. Stamping up keeps it top secret. All right, so you get this kit in the mail and you always get stamps and then you get other things with it. Okay, there's a little piece of dust there. All right, so let's get the brayer. That's a little brayer and it's kind of, oops, I want to make sure I don't, I didn't want to touch those because they're still drying. Yeah, see, they're already starting to run. Now, you know what? I actually usually stamp way ahead of time, let things dry and then I do my videos, but I wanted you to see this distinctive stamp set, meaning the way that the shading is, this is something you need to stampin' up. This is the first time they've ever included this kind of stamp, a distinctive stamp inside a, a paper pumpkin kit. There's little dots, I don't know if you can see that. Like where the dots are more concentrated, 
it looks like there's you know more ink and just I just love it I love the way the way it makes it look I didn't have to do anything to make that happen now I would have to have done a lot to make that happen if this were me trying to color or something I'm using a little piece of painters tape because I don't want these to slip when I scan the paper all right we're going to open up the scanner and I'm going to I mean the brother scan and cut and I'm going to put one hand on the mat when I load it and I'm going to tilt the camera so you can see the screen the home screen when you're when you turn on your scan and cut let me just go back to the home screen because I was doing some things earlier. And you're going to see pattern and scan. Okay, and let me find my stylus. The pattern is using the built-in patterns. That's if you're new to the scan and cut. We want to scan. In other words, we want to we scan because we're going to be cutting out these images. So let's say scan. We want to use direct cut because we're directly cutting them out. We're not saving them. We're going to temporarily store this on our machine. And it's black and white recognition mode, even though I did stamp one of these in color. And I'm going to go ahead and say, load the mat. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and say, start. Now, I don't expect these to scan and cut correctly, which is the point of the video. So don't say, well, why is she showing us this? I'm showing you this for a reason. So the reason is so that you can see how to fix it. You have, you have an image here that's not complete. You know, the line is not complete, see? So that's gonna come out all weird. Like it's gonna try to outline that like a little curve. All right, and instead of, instead of making the petal full, okay? Well, here, they, here it is, it's ready, so we can show you. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and show you what I mean. Zoom in, look what happened, look how weird that is. I don't want that. That's gonna cut out the part of this petal and that petal and this petal, and there's like a little crescent there and all kinds of weird stuff going on. Let me zoom in somewhere so you can see how weird this is. Okay, we don't want that, we want a, we want a nice rose. We want to use this for embellishments. I have a lot of ideas on what to do with this rose, especially for Mother's Day projects. I'm going to show you one. But I don't want that weirdness. I want there to be one solid line around the whole thing. So let's, with that said, I'm going to tilt the camera down. We're going to fix it real quick. Okay? And we're going to scan it again. So the way you fix it is very simple. You take a pencil and you fill in the gaps. Okay? So you just... Take a pencil and close in the gaps. That seems like there's only one gap on each flower, but there's more. There's this gap right here. Okay, that's a big gap. So I'm going to fill in that gap. There might be more, but I think those, oh yeah, there's one here too. Okay, so go around and fix them. One, two, three. And it depends on your stamped image how many gaps there are, but at least three is part of the stamped image. The reason I'm using a pencil is I'm going to get rid of these. I mean, after, afterwards, I'm going to erase these marks. Okay, let's zoom. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Let me fix this one. See? Let me, let me focus. See that? I'm just fixing it by enclosing the gaps. And do this one. And hopefully we get three out of four scanning next time. There's one, two. I filled in two gaps. Because you, you don't always get 100 percent success rate if you do you're lucky but if you don't remember it's only ink and paper right don't worry about it I just fixed that one by the way okay oh here let's fix this one okay so you you look around and you check are there any gaps there's you know are there little gaps are there big gaps fill them in with a pencil and close all of the the brother scan and cut in order to scan a nice little rose like this it needs to have every little gap filled in Okay, I can't help but think, mind the gap, like when I was writing the tube in, in uh, London, they always say on the PA system, mind the gap. So when you're doing your little scan and cut thing, you, you can say, mind the gap, I have to fix these gaps. All right, the, the mat's already loaded. I'm going to go back to this. Um, let me zoom in there and just go back to this home screen so you can see what's going on, okay? So back to home and all this, delete everything and just start again. Oops, I don't mean that one. Okay, scan, we want scan, direct cut, save to the machine, start. I'm hoping all of my roses, my sentimental roses now, will we'll scan in this time. Because I've outlined them with a pencil. And then you, only good, you have a good eraser to erase those with. Okay, we're gonna say okay. 
and see how it did. Okay, three out of four, awesome, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and take, and so that means I didn't fix this one quite enough, but that's okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select the area I want to, to, to cut out the roses from. So that way I don't have to get rid of as many extra little bits. I'm gonna go ahead and say ignore object size. Maybe everything up to say, ignore, and I'm using back out so you can see all the controls. Okay, there, so ignore object size. We will say everything up to half an inch or so, a little bit more than that, that's good. Now I've ignored the small bits. And then we wanna say outline distance of 0 0.04, which is a standard outline distance. And we say okay. Now I should just get three roses cutting out. Now, if you have a brother scan and cut DX, everything would have been the same up to this point, at SDX. But I have a CM350, which is a scan and cut too. Okay, so that, that means that I have to set the blade depth. You, would, you may have auto blade technology. I don't. I set the blade depth for four with Whisper White cardstock. Okay, so I'm using a blade depth of four, a standard cutting blade. Load the blade, yada, 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 and start. Okay, so it's gonna cut. Now while it's cutting, it's very noisy, my machine. I'm just gonna move that away, and I'm gonna show you what's in this kit. Paper pumpkin kits come with enough materials to make several cards. This one came with nine cards and a box. Pretty cool. Little embellishments and twine and adhesives and all this. Some, it even came with one of these to make for your top of your box. And I'm like, hey, we can make loads more because we have scan and cuts. So how beautiful is that little embellishment for the top of your box? It came with little corrugated embellishments. It came, okay, I'm gonna show you what else it came with in a minute, but I would have to tilt the camera to do that. So right now, what I'm gonna do is just show you full stop how the rest of this, I'm gonna just say, finished, okay, okay. And okay, we're unloading the mat, and then I want to show you what our stamped images came out like. And then I'll show you my project in just a minute. But look how cool this is. To get them off the mat, you just bend the mat a little bit. How beautiful are they? Okay, so we have three out of four, and this one I'm going to get. I am not giving up on that one. That one is so close to being cut out perfectly. So there we are. Okay, now let's tilt that down, and we're going we're gonna to keep checking those out. So I'll show you something I did with them, but I wanted to finish showing you this kit. Okay, so there's some corrugated cardboard, a card box, like an acetate card box that's all wrapped up nice, which meaning to protect it. Lots and lots of little tags and things. Corrugated, da, 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 here, note cards. Three styles of note cards. I, I never know what I'm gonna get. I haven't done one card yet. I, I went straight to making a bag, which I'm gonna show you. Lots of little watercolor thingies, papers, sent, I mean, envelopes with liners. How cool is this kit? I will, I'm gonna be making cards with the kit this weekend at a workshop that I'm doing for Mother's Day. All right, let's get back to our scan and cut. So that's what this tutorial is about. So we have, we have these roses. So you have them and let me stop my camera from tilting. And so now you want to erase the marks that you have and then you're ready to use them. So that, that's the final step. You cut out your stamped images and you erase the marks. Never, ever, ever, Crafty Friends, use a pink eraser, it'll stain. It'll stain your stamps. Use a good eraser, like this is the kind I use, one of the kinds. I use a white eraser. You get them in any office supply store, I'll also link to them. Look at this, I'm walking around with tape stuck to my hand, it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm erasing all the extra little marks because the artist didn't intend for those and I like to stay true to the artist intent. Okay, one, two, three and there we have it we have a great embellishment to use so this is ready for a mother's day card it's ready for a note card and you erase those marks and it just looks beautiful you don't need to do any coloring to that but to these black ones i did color and i'll show you that but let me just erase those marks and i like how these came out in memento black even better because it looks like i used all these like I don't know, it looks like I used colored pencils and did all kinds of stuff and shading, like I'm an artist, so I send that to someone and they're like, wow, pretty cool. Okay, and I think I got all the marks, got, all the marks are gone. And I just wanna do this now, even though like I'm, I'm on a video because really I don't wanna forget to do this, like you wanna erase them and it looks just more professional. Okay, so now we have that. So now let me show you my project. 
Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna make some room here for this Mother's Day project, which probably fell on the floor. Yes, it did. Oh, scratch. Got a lot of exercise. Here's the Mother's Day project I created. So I cut out the stamped image with the brother scan and cut. Let me show you the stamp set again. I didn't do anything that wasn't on the stamp set. See, the paper pumpkin came with Happy Mother's Day, which I, I stamped in gray granite. And then I used Lemon Lime Twist. Okay, let me show you some of those. So this is Lemon Lime Twist. And I just cut out a bunch of the leaves using the scan and cut, no problems whatsoever. I didn't have to do any pencil marks. They cut out perfectly just the way they were. Okay, so that's how I did this. And then I did the Mother's Day. I used a, the uh, classic, mm, what's the name? I have my supplies sitting here. Story label punch. Okay, I used my story label punch, but I cut a smaller piece and I punched that out. Then I did a little foam. I did a little foam uh, sponging around the edges. And then I used, I popped these up with dimensionals. And I used this ribbon, which is on our occasions catalog. And it's called All My Love. All My Love pack of ribbon. Comes with lovely lipstick and I think that's Flirty Flamingo. Okay, so the, and the bag itself, I used this, this really awesome gizmo if you wanna get one. This is my friend Bernie's, thank you Bernie. So this is her little, this is a gizmo, it's called um, the gift bag punch board. Okay, so teacher appreciation, Mother's Day, birthday gifts, what, what have you, you can, make, you can make bags with this thing. My sister has mine, I gave my sister mine. I did use it during a lot of my workshops. I'm gonna be using it this weekend, in fact. All right, so this is a gift bag, and I used for the gift bag, this is Lemon Lime Twist on one side, and it's like gold on the inside. It, this is called the Broadway Bound Designer Series Paper by Stampin' Up. It's one of our current, it's in our current annual catalog, this, this cool paper. Okay, so that's how you get the lovely lipstick. And now this one, this one here is, is taking this, Remember Memento Black, I told you I'd show you what happens when you take Memento Black. I didn't want to leave the rose like that, obviously, right? The rose is cool like this because it has color, but I didn't want to leave it like that. So all I did, I, I mean, I'm not kidding, Crafty Friends. I just colored it in with the marker. I was gonna, I tried two different colors and I, I went with, I took the blends, these are called Real Red Blends, Stampin' Blends, and I said, you know what? Um, I'm gonna try the light and I'm gonna try the dark. And then I asked my friend which they liked better and I, I also like this one better and it's the dark. So the dark. So that's what I stood. That's what I stood with. This is real red rose, and you can see this is a little different than the lovely lipstick. I, if I had blends in lovely lipstick, I'd have been using the blends. But in but I only had real red, and it's kind of different. See, this is more pinkish, and this is more you know red, like a sort of a, a Christmassy red. Okay, so that's that's what you can do with these really cool roses, and you can do other sentiments as well. I mean, not just Mother's Day, but I did some of these other sentiments from the kit as well. So thank you for watching. Please check out my store and contact me there if you'd like a catalog. There's a contact form on my Stampin' Up! store. And see you in the next tutorial. Bye.